DPT stands for Data Build Tool, and it's an open source tool that is used by companies to transform their data in their data warehouses. If you want to get into data analytics, engineering, cloud, this is something that you probably should learn. Now, ETL, if you don't know what it is, stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. Step one is extracting. So you pull data from your own source systems. Maybe it's things like MySQL, basically any of your operational systems. Step two, you transform it. The thing is your raw data is not usually analysis ready. You can't take the raw output. You've got to join tables together. You need to aggregate metrics, clean up the data, reshape it. Transformations happened in separate infrastructure. From there, you'd push your clean data into a data warehouse, things like Redshift. Transformation was happening outside of the data warehouse on different compute. And, and to be honest, this made sense when data warehouses were expensive and they were slow. You did the heavy work somewhere else to keep the cost down. Then cloud data warehouses came along and that changed everything. Things like Snowflake launched in 2014. BigQuery came along. Redshift got a lot more powerful. And these data warehouses right here, they could scale compute independently from storage. So they could query petabytes of data in literal seconds, which previously wasn't possible. So the approach flipped from ETL to ELT extract load transform now extract and load happen first and you get the raw data into the warehouse basically as fast as possible without any transformation you just dump it in the difference is you transform within the warehouse itself and the switch happened because modern warehouses were powerful enough to do it now you did not need to separate the infrastructure you didn't need to manage python scripts or deploy it from spark cluster or airflow pipeline everything happened within your warehouse and this is where dbt comes in. and i'd recommend doing this project we actually go step by step hands-on you don't need any experience and you're going to go through all of this in more detail 